Who makes the best Final Fantasy games? We've looked at the numerous people behind the Mario games, the Sonic series, and even the various and sundry Batman of the world. Next on our list of long-running franchises comes Final Fantasy. But Final Fantasy is a little different than those other games. The main Final Fantasy games, the ones with Roman numerals at the end, are all developed internally at Square, and even most of the series' spin-offs are made there as well. Rather than switching from studio to studio, Final Fantasy has instead seen a remarkable number of directors and designers take the helm at Square. So the question remains much the same. Who makes the best Final Fantasy games? Hironobu Sakaguchi Sakaguchi, also tragically known as The Gooch by the same people who call Shigeru Miyamoto Shigi, led the creation of the entire Final Fantasy series as an act of desperation to help Squaresoft from going out of business. He directed the first five Final Fantasy titles himself, and remained as producer through Final Fantasy X. When you think of classic Final Fantasy, you think of Sakaguchi. Akitoshi Kawazu Where Sakaguchi led the charge to define Final Fantasy, Kawazu has always been more about making Final Fantasy weird. He designed the controversial combat system in Final Fantasy II, made the surreal Game Boy spin-off Final Fantasy Legend, turned Final Fantasy into an action series with Crystal Chronicles, and created the infuriating endgame in Final Fantasy XII. Final Fantasy has always been about experimentation, and no one is more experimental than Kawazu. Hiromichi Tanaka As one of the key designers of the 8-bit Final Fantasy games, Tanaka dabbled in the Mana spin-off series for a while before returning to refine Final Fantasy XI into the single most successful chapter of the entire franchise. Koichi Ishii Like Tanaka, Ishii worked on Final Fantasy during the Famicom days, drifted over to Mana, then returned for Final Fantasy XI. However, he had a much greater role in developing the Mana series, originally called Final Fantasy Gaiden in Japan, having directed three of the first four games in the series. Kozi Ide You've probably never heard of Kozi Ide, but you may remember his games with fondness. He directed the third Final Fantasy Legend, then reworked that game's mechanics into the beginner-friendly Final Fantasy Mystic Quest for Super NES, which offered many older fans their first glimpse into the Final Fantasy world. Takashi Tokita if you love the 16-bit Final Fantasy games, you owe your gratitude to Takashi Tokuta. His background in theater and love of racing games helped Final Fantasy IV become a story-driven revolution in RPG design, with a brilliant semi-real-time combat system that became a mainstay of the series. More recently, he helped return the franchise to its 16-bit roots with the Four Heroes of Light, which provided the foundation for this year's popular Bravely Default. Hiroyuki Ito Lots of people have had their hands in the Final Fantasy series systems, but Ito created the series' most beloved and defining rule set, the job system. A brilliant free-form class change mechanic, the job system alone would be an amazing legacy for Ito on its own. Oh, but he also worked on some of the best and most beloved games in the series. Yoshinori Kitase Kitase directed fan-favorite epic Final Fantasy VI right out of the gate, and continued to guide the series through the PlayStation era into the modern day. While some see in Final Fantasy XIII a terrible misstep, its sequels demonstrate Kitase's determination to keep the series relevant and fresh. Yasumi Matsuno While he directed only two Final Fantasy titles and left partway through the second, Matsuno left a massive mark on the franchise. Final Fantasy Tactics remains a fan favorite more than a decade and a half later, and the series is still trying to match the sheer scope and ambition of Final Fantasy XII. Tetsuya Nomura Love him or hate him, Nomura has probably done more to shape the image and style of Final Fantasy over the past 17 years than anyone. He's gone from an anonymous pixel artist on the 16-bit titles to the designer behind characters like Cloud, Oron, and Lightning. On top of that, he has also been directly in charge of Final Fantasy spin-off Kingdom Hearts, and his next project, Final Fantasy XV, will determine the future of the series in the HD era. Matomu Toriyama Toriyama debuted by directing one of the most unfairly reviled Final Fantasy games ever, Final Fantasy X-2. Then he directed the equally hated Final Fantasy XIII trilogy. But Final Fantasy XIII's problems can largely be attributed to technical and high-level planning issues, and all of Toriyama's titles have been uneven but experimental and ambitious, making him a kind of modern-day Akitoshi Kawazu. Yuichi Murasawa it can't be easy to follow in the footsteps of Yasumi Matsuno, especially when you're given a mandate to make his dark, baroque plotlines kid-friendly. But Morosawa made the best of it, turning Tactics Advance's kitty storyline into an interesting reversal that cast the protagonist as a sort of villain. Too bad about some of the underlying game mechanics, though, like the judges. Mitsuru Kamiyama and Hiroyuki Saegusa As Kawazu's key collaborators for Crystal Chronicles, Kamiyama and Saigusa helped transform Final Fantasy's RPG mechanics into a fast-paced Diablo-esque multiplayer loot grind. That's quite a feat. And finally, Naoki Yoshida. 
The most recent addition to the Final Fantasy directorial pantheon, Naoki Yoshida, has only worked on a single game, but he's given a heck of a showing, almost single-handedly salvaging Square's single most disastrous game release of all time into something masterful with a realm reborn. We see good things in this man's future. Oh, let's not forget one last director, Hajime Tabata, who worked on Crisis Core, Final Fantasy VII, and Final Fantasy X-0. Apparently, Square Enix liked his work on the first Final Fantasy XIII spin-off, Type-0 was originally called Final Fantasy Exito XIII, that they put him in charge of the other spin-off, Final Fantasy vs. XIII, now called Final Fantasy XV. It's a little early to call on this one, but Tabata's track record is certainly strong. For more exercises in pitting creators against one another in virtual battle, keep reading usgamer.net. And subscribe to our super cool YouTube and Twitch channels, too, because you're super cool.